back to our class. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, so last week we reviewed the long I sound. Remember, long I makes what sound? Uh, long I makes what sound? Uh, Good. And you know there's a few different spelling patterns that make that sound. So sometimes it's just a. Uh, sometimes it's a. Uh, sometimes you might have this at the end of a word. Uh, sometimes you might have this at the end of a word. Uh, Okay, all things, all of these usually make the long I sound. Sometimes, you know, this can make a short I. You have to check it out sometimes, okay? Um, let's try a few words, just as a review, because I know we know this, we just want to review it. <laughs> Don't forget to wait for me. Sometimes we said it, but then we realize that the old changes that, right? So if you know this is not will, you know this is... Wow. wow! Nice and loud, this all together. I. This is together. I. Prefix. Blend. Y at the end. I. We don't know. Let's figure it out. Blend. Mm -hmm. Mine. Mine. Right. Could have been men, but we know that's not that word, right? We know men to fix is an E, okay? So mine. Let's try this one since you know that one. Mine. Let's make sure that's a long I. Mine. Mine. Are we right? Yes. yes. Okay, here's another one. All together. I ending with slides. Okay, this is another review that we did. I so let's duh up. Sound by sound, let's do that one more time. You changed it. Good. This is. But I want it to be right now. What ending am I going to use? What suffix am I going to use if I want it to be right now? Ing. Ing. Good. Now, I'm going to just put the ing here. Does that make sense? No. What do we know about words that end in a vowel consonant and we want to put a suffix on it? What do we know about it, Bobby? You got double the consonant. You absolutely have to double the consonant. So I'm going to have to stick another G in here. Now it looks right, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we know that's not diving. We know that is digging. Okay? What about this word? Uh, and we definitely know this is still. Uh, and we know A-Y. A, right? Wait for it. This blend. I. Mm, ah, sound by sound. Let's do it again. Blend. I. Good, you changed it. But I wanted to be past tense. What's a suffix that I can use at the end of that word that means past tense, Kayla? Ed, absolutely. But vowel consonant, Kayla. So what do I need to do to this p? Double it before I put my ed. And lastly, we know ed makes three sounds. It can make a d, a, t, and a, a, right? So what are we going to do for here? What sound is the ed making in the word skip? Say it to yourself. What sound? Right, that ed is making a t sound. We don't say skip the. We don't say skip it. We say skipped. So it makes that sound. What about? Ooh, good one. Here it is. Oh, you did that. Right, right. So this is July. It's not Julia. It's not Julie. Okay, so you know that's July. Why did I put a capital J for July? Why did I do that? 
to name? Because it names the uh, it names the day. Well, not the day, right? The month. The month. Yeah, right. It's the name of the month. What do we call those names? Those names we call those. Pronouns. Almost. We learned about pronouns last week. You know, those replace the nouns in words like he, she, they, we. This is not one of those, though, is it? You're close. Proper nouns. proper nouns, pronouns, proper nouns, we get them all confused, right? But it, make sure you know proper nouns, they're proper. They deserve a proper capital letter. That's how I remember it. Deserves a proper capital letter, okay? Um, one word on your list is something that you would wear. It's something that you could wear. A tie. This word on your list means to say something in return. To say something in return. This can be written, it can be an email, it can be said. It is reply. Very good. Um, this is a, you have a few of them too. Verb. Verb. This is a verb. Think about what we know about verbs. Kaviana? Skip. Skip. What's another one? What's another one? Can you do highway? So take note of what Kaviana said. Kaviana said skip. If you can do it, it is a verb. Can do highway. <laughs> Hands down, I called on her. Give her a chance. Right, digging, right? That's something that you do. That's another verb. What is one thing that is the opposite, an antonym of dark? An antonym of dark. Caleb. Light. Light. Very good. Um, you have 10 seconds to take out your book and turn to page 49. Remember, taking out your books and turning pages does not require you to use your voice. You're actually wasting time if you do that. Three seconds. Whoa. Whoa, you done skipped this afternoon already. Come on, fix it. I know it was a, it was a simple mistake. Skip the math already. You have a whole morning with me. Don't leave me so soon. Okay, um, before we start, I just want to remind you that we are doing the skill of sequence of events. And I remember last year we learned sequence of events with, with the, the flow, flow chart. chart. You first, next, then and left. First, next, then and left. First, next, then and left. And we do this with our fingers to remind ourselves that a flow chart starts at the top and it goes down. It sounded so good, I want to hear it one more time. Sequence of events with the flow chart. You can first, next, then it left. First, next, then it left. First, next, then it left. Okay. This is the first thing. This is what we do every time we read a story. We look at the front cover, we look at the title, and we try to decide what genre our story is. What I want you to do is I want Jelly to tell Peanut Butter what you believe the genre of our story, and we have fantasy fiction, realistic fiction, and we have non-fiction, okay? What the genre of this story is, Jelly Tell Peanut Butter. Teach, teach. Okay, okay.
Mayana, share with us what your partner shared with you. Wow, okay, so one is every, it's realistic because a boy could really hit, you know, hold a baseball bat and hit a baseball. That's what our, that's what our cover illustration shows. You want to add? You agree with Mayana, which means you also agree with London. We don't know if Mayana, if Mayana agrees with London. Do you agree with London? Anybody else agree with London? Absolutely. I also agree that this is realistic fiction because it could happen one day. It's not fantasy fiction because there's nothing on the cover that could never happen ever, ever. Our bat is not talking. Our bat does not have wings. Our boy is not flying. So it is not fantasy fiction. And we also know it's not nonfiction. Why do we know it's not nonfiction? Right, the picture does not look like it's taken with the camera. And the because the title is Luke Goes to Bat, Peter Butter, tell Jelly, if the title is Luke Goes to Bat, why would this not be a nonfiction story? <laughs> teach, teach. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, class. So the question was, the title is Luke Goes to Bat. Why do we know that this is not a non-fiction story? Go ahead. And what about the title? What about the title? Luke goes to bed. Think about it. If the title is Luke goes to bed, why do we know this is not nonfiction? What would a nonfiction title probably be if it was a nonfiction story? It How to do batting? Mm -hmm. Okay, so how to play baseball, how to, it will be teaching us about real life, right? A story called Luke Goes to Bat means it's probably about a character that was thought up in the care in the author's head that they're gonna talk about. Okay? Um predict, predict. What do you think this story will be about? Uh Jelly Top Peanut Butter, what you think this story about? Hey, and this I predict that. playing baseball. Take it a bit further. You know that's what the picture is of, clearly. What do you think will happen to this boy that is playing baseball? So take it one step further. Now I want peanut butter to add what Jelly said. I predict that. Peanut butter add. Add on. Add on.
much more than just a boy playing baseball. I mean, really, this story will be about him learning how to play baseball. Ten finger will. Okay, go ahead and turn to the first page. Remember, your uh, trackers are following along. If I tap you on the shoulder, I expect you to be able to read the next word on the page. Do not let me down. Let's sit up straight. Oh, okay. Uh, take your book out. Oh yeah, so yo, you can come back now since he's here. So switch places now, their original partners. And you can just join, go back and join this group like you did last time. And uh, page nine, quickly as you can, turn to page 50, let's go. Okay. It was Brooklyn. Eyes, page, let's go. It was Brooklyn. It was summer. It was baseball. All day long, the kids on Bedford Avenue played stickball in the streets. Except for Luke. When you're older, his big brother Nikki told him, he's just a squirt, one of the other kids said, laughing. So Luke watched the games from the curb, and then he practiced. He threw a ball against the wall next to the deli. He practiced his swing over and over again. He ran as fast as he could up and down the block. When he wanted to be ready, he wanted to be ready when it was time. Tell me how he feels. Don't turn the page yet. I didn't tell you turn the page. Look at page 50. How does Luke feel at this moment? Corey? I predict that. We're not predicting, you just tell me. I want you to really tell me. I, I think Luke's feeling sad because. 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 His mother said when when he's older, he can play. And one of the kids laughed at him because he because one of the kids called him a squirt and started laughing. Absolutely, and you found that evidence right in the words, right? Yes. How else can we tell how he feels at the moment? Because the author gave us words, but the illustrator. Keep coming. The illustrator did show, show a picture of a kid calling him a squirt. Look back, look back. Because that's Luke right there in the yellowish shirt. The yellowish orange shirt. What do you see about his body language? What do you see in the picture? I see that he feels sad because he's sitting down with his, his, his elbow on his leg. Right. Everyone show me how Luke is sitting right now. Would you sit like that if you are happy, excited? No, no. you would sit like that if you are sad. But more importantly, what's another word we know? Because you know sad is a real kindergarten word. We don't even hardly use that anymore. What's another word that we have learned that he is feeling right now, Marlon? Huh? Well, you know, bored is like me, like you, want, like you don't have anything to do. He clearly has something he wants to do, but he can't do it. They're not allowing him to do it, so that feeling is what? Raise your hand with the thought, not with the, just a blank hand. I need hands with the answer right at the tip, finger, ends of your fingertips. He's not angry. If you're like this, are you angry? This is a very angry action. Upset. Upset is one. What's another one? Disappointed. That's the one I was looking for. Ten finger woo. Okay. So just know that um, while we go along, I'm going to be recording this on our what? Our flow chart for our sequence of events. Okay. So what's the first thing that happened? the text. I want you to tell Jelly where you see the author actually gave you 
the definition of practice right there in the word, what it means to practice. Peanut butter, point, show jelly where it is and read it from the text. Go, go. James, so I want James to read us that sentence where the author told us exactly, starts here, exactly what practice means. He practiced his swimming, swimming, swimming over and over again. Agree. Do we agree that that's the sentence where the author told us what practice means? Exactly. When you practice, you do something over and over and over with the intent to get better and better and better at it. Okay, now turn. And at night, whenever the Dodgers were playing, Luke hurried up to the roof where he could see the lights of Ebbets Field. When he heard the crowd go wild, he imagined his favorite player, Jackie Robinson, had hit a home run. Someday, Luke thought, I will hit a home run too. <laughs> Go ahead, turn. Oh, look at the page. Look at the picture. Look at the picture. What is happening in this picture? What's happening in this picture? Kyrie, what do you see? Okay, you see baseball players. What else? They are playing baseball or baseball. Well, they're playing baseball. What's the setting? <laughs> What's the setting right now? What's the setting? They outside. They're outside, more specifically, on the, on the roof, right? So what's happening in this picture? Are those real professional baseball players up on the roof with Luke right now, that night? No. What is he doing? He's He's imagining that they are there, right? He's visualizing and imagining that they are right there, right in front of him. And that he hit a home run. Okay, turn the page. Finally, one morning, the team was short a player. Frankie had to go to his aunt. said Luke. What about me? Everyone was quiet. Oh, come on, said his brother. Give him a chance. He got nobody else. He better not mess up. They put him in left field. No balls came his way, so he just stood there. How does he feel right now? How does he feel right now? Marlon, you said a word earlier, and I said it kind of applies to an action. What was that word that you said earlier? When you don't have anything to do, you're just there. You, yeah, right, so he's feeling really bored right about now, right? So look at the next page. When it was his turn up at bat, Luke took a few practice swings. Then stop, stepped up to the plate. I'll show them, Luke buttered. The ball whizzed past. Strike one. Luke held the bat higher. Strike two. Luke was barely in position when the next ball flew past. And the catcher yelled, out. How's he feeling right now? 
How's the character feeling right now? <laughs> How's he feeling? How's he feeling, Sayon? Say, what's another one? Oh, maybe left out. That's good. Might feel a little left out. See, everyone else seems they can hit the ball, right? They can hit the ball, they can hit the ball. Then he steps up and he can barely get in the position. All three stripes. Okay? Um, what I want you to do is turn to a partner and I want you to share with your partner Jelly first what is some advice that you would give Luke right now Jelly in the store? store? What is some advice you would give Luke right now in the store? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I'm, 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 What's some advice that you would give Luke right now? I would, I would say hit, when they come to you, hit the hit the ball and with um, and hold the bat higher. So you're gonna give him some physical tips about how he can do better and play baseball. What else? James said that he put the Okay, um, Jay, so Valentine said, James said, keep on trying until you make it. Agree with James? Anybody else said something similar to that? Absolutely, that's what I said. Uh, direct your attention up top, because I added on our next thing. But first, I want you to tell me what mistake I did on the first box of the flow chart. I just started it and said, kids didn't allow Luke to play stickball. What's the mistake that I made? Bobby, what do you think? So what should, you said that my first word is kids, what should my first word be if I'm doing a flow chart? They, they, they. might to a pronoun, the noun is fine. But if I'm doing a flow chart, Rihanna, what do you think? Start. Right! Flow chart is all about sequence of events, right? So I should have started my first area with first. That tells someone, if I'm retelling the story, that tells them what ha that that happened absolutely first in the story, the first thing. So then, my next sequence word is yes. good. Next, Frankie can't play, so Luke gets a chance to play. Luke strikes out. All right, let's turn, let's see what happens. You stink, Luke heard. He got up to bat one more time, but struck out again. Sometimes it just goes that way, his brother told him. Frankie came back in the afternoon, so Luke spent the rest of the day on the curve. He was sure they never let him play again. On that page, um, I want you to point to what his brother said. Point to what his brother said. What was his brother trying to do here when he said that? What was his brother trying to do when he said that? I want peanut butter to tell Jelly. What was his brother attempting to do by saying those words? Read it to your partner and then share. Teach, teach. Okay, okay. okay. 